Hello there, and welcome back to Terra Firmacraft, where apparently it rains every day. I hope you're having a wonderful day though. Yeah, rain, thunderstorms, every time I go do something outside. So we're just going to hide inside until it's safe. Or, you know, it is nighttime. We could just go to bed and just completely skip over this issue altogether. There we go. Much better. Oh, come on. <sighs> okay. Uh, X, 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 X. Seriously, can't you see I'm doing something important right now? This is not how today was supposed to go. And now I have even more reason to not like thunderstorms. Okay, uh, I don't... Do I have Acacia saplings over here? No. So now we're down five Acacia saplings. And to add to the orange trees, which died at the end of last episode, the plum trees died too. So we can't have plums or oranges in this biome. It's just too cold or well, in this climate is too cold. Okay, let's get. I really hope I had extra acacia saplings. This is not what I meant to do today. We were going to do. We we're going to start a different project. Instead, I'm literally, literally putting out fires. One. <laughs> we have one acacia sapling. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to go out and get more again. Okay, well, let's at least put the logs to good use. We're gonna completely forget about that. Okay, we're going to just stack them in here so we can turn them into charcoal in the near future. And then we'll actually get started on what I want to do today. All right, we're going to be building a new farm over in, well, this area, but it's not going to be like one of those farms. We're building a mob farm. Yep. I'm actually going to go and, uh, and uh, bite the bullet here and do one. We will, however, need to light up a lot of stuff under here. So much so that I'm actually quite frightened by the vast scale of resources. I'm going to need to mob proof all these caves and I'm going to need to mob proof around my house. It, there's going to be a lot involved. And I was saying how I'm going to need 50 blue steel ingots in order to make a new set of armor, a new sword, and all the lamps I need for my house. Yeah, I'm going to need infinitely more in order to uh, have enough blue steel to mob proof my base. So, yep, that's our task. Thankfully, we have create. We have this and this, and I'm going to be... I'm going to be using the drills to to drill out the spawn area. I mean, it's going to run perfectly fine during the day. Uh, nighttime is going to be an issue until we can light everything up. And the other thing is it's going to be underground. I don't want to mess with the aesthetic I have here. Having a mob building above ground won't look good. Plus... I mean, what am I going to do? Make another brick building? And it's not going to be in the sky. That's just, that's going to look absolutely terrible for this, for, um, for the aesthetic I've got going on. So yeah, it's just going to level out this area, drill down. It's going to be 16 by 16. And, uh, we'll start working on the mob farm after that. So I'm going to get started. We don't have a lot of drilling to do, which means a lot of lag. And uh, it's going to have its own power supply. It's not going to be plugged into that. Oh, I didn't realize there's water under here. But I'm going to have to uh, clean that up before I can actually build any mob farm. Since I don't plan on using water for the mob farm. Uh, how deep do we want to go? Uh, well, 
pick? It, it depends because I could either use one of the create tools like a saw to kill the mobs, in which case you don't actually have to worry about dropping them a far distance. You'll need to use, you know, uh, fall height or we could use fall height or we could use a fan with lava. Hmm. Nah, I don't I don't think that'd be necessary. Uh, I think we just have them fall onto a conveyor belt, which pushes them into a saw. That'd be the most compact, but that does mean we're going to have to remove all of this water because that's just lagging this down even faster. And then the next question, like I said, how deep do we want to have this go? Right now, it's about 12 blocks deep. Oh, there's a ravine here. Where does it start? Well, I'm going to need to drop down far enough that I can access the ravine so I can light it up. So I guess I'll wait for that. I'll wait for it to be level with the tunnel right there. I need to go craft up all of the lamps. I need to get a lot more iron so I can make blue steel. But yeah, that, that sounds like a plan for now. So you think I have enough iron? Thanks to our tree farm, I'm going to have plenty of charcoal. So we're going to be turning not all of this, but most of this into steel, which is going to take a while. So I'm going to be busy for quite a bit running up and down this ladder because because I can't make more fire bricks. I just can't find the resources to. So I can't make this taller, which means I have to settle for being only able to make eight iron, sorry, eight steel at a time. And I need to make, yeah, I need to make 80 more steel. 80 more steel? I need to make 80 black steel. That's going to require, I didn't write down how much that requires. That requires a lot because each black steel, and I'm sure I've said this before, each black steel requires one pig iron, which means I have to fire it in here to turn into pig iron. Yeah, so each black steel requires a pig iron. I need 80 black steel which means i need 80 pig iron then i need 20 additional steel which means another 20 pig iron to turn into steel sorry i need 40 steel it's a good thing i wrote this down isn't it in addition to this 13 here so i need to make 120 pig iron which means i need to run this 120 divided by eight what, 15 times yeah this is gonna be fun okay 120 pig steel later and the entirety of the anime another we are done well making the pig steel now i'm ready to convert all this into um black steel right we gotta turn into weak black steel once this is melted down we cast out the weak black steel Combine it with pig iron. I need more uh, flux. I think I have more some. I gotta have more loose limestone than that. Oh, I've got an entire chest. Right, good. <laughs> Just take this whole whole thing. Uh, we gotta combine all of this into. Right, combine the weak black steel with the pig iron to make it into black steel. And we're going to wind up with 80 ingots of black steel. And then we got to do the same to turn it all into blue steel. Like I said, this is taking forever and it's not really worth showing it on screen because it's just me sitting here working the bellows, running up the ladder to dump stuff in. And then with this, it's literally just waiting for everything to melt and then casting it out. And then waiting it for melt and then casting out. Once that's all done, heating it up, heating this up, combine them together. Heat this up, heat that up, combine them together. It is crazy. Okay. So, um, in the meantime, everything else has just been running on its own. I'm going to go show you the, uh, grove since it's, it's pointing. All right. I'll just look at the grove quickly because I did see a lot of the hedges have grown. And I'm going to have to trim them because the way the bushes grow in this, they don't necessarily grow in a straight line. They like to have these 
offshoot branches. Unless someone just... Sorry about that. Had to take a second. Where was... What was the sink? Right. Um, unless I end up doing these as two wide hedges because they are, well, growing whichever way they want to. Which, you know, too, too wide might not be a bad idea. Might look pretty good. But then you get this where it's already too wide and it's going to keep growing. And over here might be a good idea to do it, to actually do too wide so you can't see through it. When these are fully grown. Yeah, see, that's that looks pretty good. You can't really see through it. It looks like a proper hedge on the corners. You can see through the corners. So doing the corners too wide will probably improve it a bit. And looks like most of the saplings have turned into branches with the exception of the four that died. And then I do love that the leaves change color. What time is it? What time of year is it? Late summer, August. Yeah. Because you know, autumn leaves look awesome. Do jungle leaves change? As I was saying, do jungle leaves change color? Because, I mean, jungles usually don't get cold enough to change color. Hmm, I don't see it. Okay. Well, we'll find out. But yes, I think this is looking really good for now. We do gotta change a few more things. Add a few more lee, uh, trees, that sort of thing. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go back in and get back to work making all the steel. And all the steel I'm making is not gonna be enough to even slightly mob-proof the base. It's just gonna be enough to mob-proof my barn uh, all the barns, all, well, the three barns and the chicken coop, the horse stables, the porch, and in there. So everything underground is still going to be an issue. It would probably be easier to flood all of this than it would be to light all of this. All right. Well, we'll worry about that later. Once, once I make the steel, I'm going to actually go in here and start making the spawning platforms i think i i think i know what i'm going to do for the spawner and then we're going to set up but before we set up the spawning platforms we'll set up the collection and item sorting chamber down here hmm i'm just thinking i could use a fan an encased fan to blow items up because you can't really do a water elevator since we don't have do we have magma blocks can I make a water elevator? I'm going to have to figure that out. If I can do a water elevator, I might do that instead and have the sorting and collection up near the top. So it's easier to access and I don't have to, you know, go all the way down. That's probably going to require jumping into a creative world just to test it out. But that, again, that way till I'm done with the black steel at the very least. So I, uh, I made a mistake with my math. See, I, I set up enough to make 50 weak blue steel ingots. Well, the crucible can only hold 40 ingots worth of melted ingots. And uh, so I split the blue steel recipe up into two sections. Only I didn't do my math right. And I wound up with the first 20 coming out perfectly fine. But the second 30, the math was wrong. And they wouldn't make Sorry. And they wouldn't come up with... Uh... Let's try that again. The math was wrong. So I couldn't actually smelt it into blue steel. It was off by a few. Well, so I ended up taking the sterling silver and the bismuth bronze rods that I had in here. And, and the extra black steel I had, tossed them in, and it gave me the right ratio. Which means I actually came out with the exact right amount of both black steel and blue steel to make uh, a perfect amount. So it just, it's funny how that worked out.
and let's uh and so yep this is what i'm doing now this is this is my life for the next few minutes so while i'm doing this uh i mentioned before i was watching the anime another it's a horror anime not that it's particularly scary then again i don't really find i'm not really into horror stuff but they're it's like there's no horror movies or whatnot that's actually kind of scary to me you know there are games uh amnesia dark descent is horrifying i managed to play about 10 minutes of it and that's it so yeah but horror movies horror anime they're not actually scary so you know another not really scary just entertaining but here's the thing i last watched it years ago i could have sworn it had an english dub and yet when i watched on crunchyroll last night and this afternoon um it's only in japanese so either i misremembered watching it in english and i watched it in japanese or country world doesn't have the rights to the english dub i think i just misremember anyway so that that's what i was doing okay this like i said is gonna take a while so we'll be back when i'm done well when i have everything made up like i said i'm making up a new set of armor and a whole bunch of these lamps and then i have to go collect lava to fill these lamps okay armor's done it is quite hot so thankfully it doesn't matter if i put it on while it's literally hot enough to sear your skin but we've got our blue steel sword now which is significantly stronger i didn't realize it does 10 hearts compared to 5.75 from the uh raw iron so that's a massive upgrade the steel axe is pretty strong too that's why i can one shot um one shot crit kill creepers with the axe which means i should be able to one shot crit kill creepers with the sword also oh wait we've got these we can go up there okay all the forging is done well okay i still need to melt those down i'm not melt them down heat them up and turn them into lamps i'm not gonna do that right now i've spent too long forging <laughs> oh look we got a bunch of creepers over here Oh, that was nice. Okay, so. Ah, dang it. I didn't want to get hit to have my armor get damaged already. It hasn't even cooled yet. You're already damaging my armor. Oh, sh there's too many of them. Okay, we're just going to bravely run away and hide in here. Uh, okay, we've got armor that is now already damaged, even though I just forged it. <laughs> we're going to wait till day. And we're going to start on the spawner. Uh, not spawner. The mob farm. Well, I've made progress on the mob farm. It's uh, interesting. Let's take a look. Obviously, it's still open. And... So I've had mobs spawn in my house. Apparently they will not spawn on slabs or at least wood slabs. So I'm going to have to probably drop everything down one layer and put dirt in instead to give it well something for them to spawn on. So we're going to have these four layers. You can see we got four arms sticking out from a mechanical bearing. And that will sweep them around and push them into this hole where there are two conveyor belts which will push them into the saws they'll take damage and the items will fall into these chutes onto this conveyor belt which will then go into this chute tunnel being blown by this fan they will go all the way up to this level come out here go here and i will have chests with brass funnels set up along the way with filters on them to collect all the different types of drops bones arrows 
spider eyes, gunpowder, webbing, and any items they might drop. So armor, the armor and whatnot will go into on special chest. And uh, I'm going to make a trash can because I didn't realize we had trash cans and this is going to be quite useful. So I can trash all the rotten flesh because there's nothing I can do with it. But I do have it actually set up and running now. I'm going to have to see about slowing this mechanical arm down just a little bit. I don't want to slow down the conveyor belts because they are going. I think the conveyor belts are going nice and fast, but the arms are definitely going too fast. So I have to see about making a. Um, I have one. Adjustable chain uh, gear chain drive for this one. So I can put redstone signal on it and slow it down by 50%. And I think that should be fast enough, but everything is running in the correct direction now. Getting this set up was a pain in the butt to get the fan blowing in the correct direction. <laughs> As you can see. But yes, yeah, so next next step is actually lowering all of these platforms by one block. Making these they're going to stay top slabs, putting dirt on top. So all the mobs have space to spawn. Yeah, that way I don't have to move the mechanical arm in the center. And then, well, hopefully we can start to get mobs spawning. I was doing a test all the way down here to see if mobs spawn on moss. And I haven't actually noticed them spawning on moss or not. So it's been inconclusive. If they don't spawn on moss, I can... Just checking that creeper. I can make a large area out here covered in moss and hopefully prevent spawns and make the farm more efficient. Did have to make more sales so that we weren't maxing out our system. But yeah, this is uh, actually coming on pretty well. I do need a lot more planks. Thankfully, that farm makes a lot of wood. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's that's only like that's not even that's not even all of it. There's probably still more logs for me to go collect. So, yep, I'm going to move everything over level, add more slabs and start adding dirt. And we should just about be ready for testing this. Uh, but here's the thing. Remember how I had all that iron? had oh we got a creeper convection convention over here and there was one more there we go we had almost three full stacks of cast iron that's uh over 180 units yep we got 12 left we're turning I had 30 raw iron. We're going to have 24 and that's going to be making more of these. So I can actually make the brass funnels. Yeah. Actually, I need to make brass too. So I've got a few more things to do before we're ready to go. So I'll bring it back in. Hopefully when it's actually up and running. And I have it just about done. But... um. Apparently mobs can spawn on the half slabs. There was just too much light coming in. And there still is a little too much light. I have to block off this and then remove the ladder. But as you can see, we do have spawns. Uh, which means that me dropping this whole layer down to put dirt in wasn't necessary. So I'm going to have to adjust this. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go down and uh, fight a few mobs as I clear this out. And then I need to plank this up down here to uh, stop spawns. But then we'll have the whole mob farm up and running. And I've got six chests here. Now you can't see the filters with me in uh, free cam mod. <gasps> the filters broke off just now. All 
All right, we've got filters on each of these corresponding to a different mob. Skeletons, spiders, creepers. This one is set to deny everything. So this should be picking up only armor and weapons. And then these two have no filter, so they will be overflow. They'll pick up everything. I'm stuck. There we go. And then I think I'll add um, stairs over here and just make it a little easier to access the chest. I mean, I can access them like this, but this is all bottom slab. So I don't have to worry about letting up down here and worrying about stuff spawning. But yeah, the farm is done. Just need to put the roof on, which is going to be planks. And then I'm going to put dirt over top. So it's going to be flush. And like I said, remove the ladder after I have. Yeah, um, I can't tell, but I don't think the moss is stopping spawns. So we're going to be planking over the bottom here or I could carpet over. Is that a three or an eight? That's three. Hmm. I don't think making carpet is going to be the best option. You don't quite get enough to make. Yeah, you get three. I don't think that's enough to make it worthwhile, especially with how many logs I have. I'm gonna go do that now, and then maybe we can actually run this today. Okay. So instead of cutting slabs and covering the entire floor with them, I use my chisel to chisel out the well stone into half slabs. So if we go all the way down. And I've removed the ladder, so it's actually dark in here. These are all slabs. So there should be no spawns down here. I slabbed up down there. I didn't slab all of it, but I did slab the, the area directly under the farm. And it's already got spawns. Uh, those spiders might be a bit of a pain being that they like to climb up into the corner. But this means that we can throw that. And now this is running. Of course, it's not catching any of them because we're all standing in the corners. Well, if they move, they'll get hit, right? No. It's not even pushing them around. Oh. Well, this is going to make this annoying, isn't it? Okay. Um, hmm. What's the cheapest thing I could put on the end of those? None of these are cheap. Uh, nozzle is probably the cheapest. I don't know if that's going to push stuff around, though. So we successfully failed. The mob farm is running, but not working. <laughs> and the mobs are just walking over the saws instead of getting pushed into them. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> okay. But I did have stuff fall down as I was working. So here you can see that's where my wrench went. Oh yeah, so this does work with this item system. The killing of the mobs, not so much. They're just lounging about. Okay, well, like I said, we'll figure that out. But I'm definitely out of time. I've this is taking three full days to figure out, and I need to edit this and then get it going. So we're gonna end it here. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you have a wonderful day and Maybe next time we'll actually have a working mob farm. Later.